hey there this is kushal and welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video we will talk about the structured approach of learning the curriculum of data science and whatever thing is related to this thing we will be talking about it so aap is video ko end tak dekhte rahiye kyunki is video mein main aapko bataunga ek structured approach kaise aap इन सभी चीज़ों को एक ऑप्टिमल तरीके से सीख सकते हैं ऑल राइट right, और अगर आपने अभी तक चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट वेन एवर आई अपलोड अ न्यू वीडियो यू गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट तो लेट्स जस्ट ब्रेक डाउन ब्रेक डाउन द पाथवे ऑफ नाइन्टी डेज नाइन्टी डेज दैट इज थ्री मंथ्स टू थ्री पार्ट the first 30 days the second 30 days and the third part of 30 days so these 90 days will make you a beast if you work daily just leave everything leave whatever you are into leave your friends leave hang out or whatever just commit yourself for 90 days and you'll see the change right so in the first bunch of 30 days you shall be starting with first of all i will be also telling you the resources of how to learn things first of all i'm just giving you the bullet points the first thing you want to learn is to understand the overall picture of what is ai what is ml what is data science how to learn these things or basically just get to know about the terms all right the basic terms about ye kahan se aayi kisne isko banaya क्यों हम इसको सीख रहे हैं एग्जैक्टली वट इज़ ए एग्जैक्टली वट इज़ एम एल एंड डेटा साइंस और जो भी बड़े बड़े शब्द लोग यूज़ कर सक यूज़ करते हैं आपको इनके बारे में पता होना चाहिए देन यू शुड गेट एन एज ऑन कैलकुलस कैलकुलस एंड इन इन लाइक देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कैलकुलस और आपको इसमें से सीखना है डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस ऑल राइट डोंट वरी आई वोट बी लिविंग यू लाइक दिस आप सोच रहे होंगे कि भाई साहब आप सिर्फ ऊपर ऊपर से बता रहे हैं ये सीख लो वो सीख लो बट यू नॉट टेलिंग द अप्रोच आई विल बी टेलिंग यू एवरी थिंग जस्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो टेल एंड डोंट लीव इट ऑल राइट द थर्ड थिंग यू हैव टू लर्न इज पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग डोंट डोंट लर्न इज डोंट लर्न इट प्रॉपरली एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जस्ट गेट टू नो अबाउट द बेसिक सिंटैक्स एंड हाउ डू वी मेक वेरिएबल्स और वट एवर द बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट आर you should be knowing that all right after learning all these three things you can move over to your first algorithm and your first algorithm is univariate linear regression so this is a prediction algorithm in in in, in data science we basically do a lot of things first of all we should know how to analyze data what data will be used for what purpose and analyze its uh, outcomes or the use case or whatever and then you should be knowing about the machine learning algorithms and this is your first machine learning algorithm because your machine learning algorithms can do five types of tasks first is prediction second is classification third is clustering fourth is recommendation and fifth is decision making so this is your first prediction algorithm which you will be learning then after this you will be learning multivariate linear regression after multivariate linear regression you will be learning polynomial regression polynomial regression after this you will be learning logistic regression logistic regression just note it down on a paper so that you can get a whole overview and then we will be expanding it making kind of a mind map of how to learn what to learn and everything all right after logistic regression we need some insights on linear algebra linear algebra and if you are not from the mathematics background it's totally totally okay this knowledge is independent of any prerequisites anybody can be a data scientist just watch this video till the end okay so after linear algebra in linear algebra you have to learn a lot of things such as what is matrix determinant and what exactly is meant by this thing the intuition behind it inverse matrices eigen vectors eigen value and when you have all these knowledge you are ready you are ready to learn the support vector machines algorithm all right most of the algorithm videos will be available on my channel you can go to it and search for some videos but i'll be letting you the perfect approach to this the 10th uh, 10th option is learning the principal component analysis the support vector machines is uh, is again a classification algorithm 
classification algorithm pca is dimensionality reduction algorithm you reduce the dimensions of your data and i will be telling you don't worry if you are if you are feeling uh, kind of left out like what what gibberish i'm talking about don't worry we'll telling you the use case of all the things linear algebra will be useful to you in uh, data analysis in a lot of algorithms and uh, it will make a good intuition for you for mathematics logistic regression is for classification and polynomial regression is for prediction similarly multivariate linear regression is for prediction all right now let's move forward and after pca you need to you need to study bit of a probability and statistics not into much detail just basics about what is a relative frequency what is a probability the bayes theorem and 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 some more things after this you can learn naive bayes algorithm algorithm and then after this you can you can just finish off your first month this is the first month thing 12 concepts in 30 days is more than possible if you have a mentor don't worry we'll we'll we'll, we'll let you know the process of doing it if don't, don't 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 feel left out at all let's let's move on to the second part and in the second chunk of 30 days we will be starting deep learning we'll be starting deep learning and in deep learning we first of all start with what is a neural network all the basics just learn about the chain rule just learn about the derivatives just learn about how a neural network works learn these things and you are good to move forward so like i will call this thing the basics of neural network i cover a lot of things in this second one is you need to learn how tensorflow works what is tensorflow it is a google module using which you can make efficient neural networks or make huge architectures of neural networks very easily without thinking about the derivatives or calculus or anything just you need to know the syntax and concepts and that's what you need for this third thing you need to learn is how to make artificial neural network the basic neural network using tensorflow then you need to know the convolutional neural network and in order to learn convolutional neural network you need to learn some basics of computer vision computer vision that means the concepts of image processing how some basic concepts work that's what you need to learn in order to learn the convolutional neural network then after convolutional neural network you need to learn the auto encoders what are auto encoders so i will also tell you the application of these things first of all let me just list down all the things all right so the sixth thing is variational auto encoders seventh thing is generative adversarial networks then you you have to learn recurrent neural networks after that you need to learn long short term memory networks then you need to learn restricted boltzmann machines and then after this you need to learn the last one the deep belief networks deep believe networks all right this is the next 30 days chunk let's move forward to the third 30 days chunk in this you need to start with some tree based algorithms these tree based algorithms let you predict things and let you classify things all right after this tree based algorithms it it has around 5 to 6 algorithms list of that then after this tree based algorithms you need to learn the art of clustering again clustering contains of 3 to 4 algorithms after clustering you need to get an edge on data analysis how to analyze the data there are a lot of things in data analysis including statistics probability hypothesis testing anova point estimation line estimation how to fill the missing values how to generate a data using sampling techniques all right so there are a lot of things in this hypothesis testing anova and uh, estimating values estimating values then let's talk about missing values then 
let's talk about data generation data generation when we have less amount of data we generated using using some techniques some sampling techniques discussed in statistics as well as in it is related to some optimization things then you you need to learn data visualization data visualization and you do it either using tableau or using power bi and if you want to do it using the programming thing you have matplotlib and seaborn these are the two modules okay you need uh, advanced knowledge for this all right other than this you need to learn a lot of things such as sql and a lot of advanced concepts but this is what this is what a broader broader uh, set of skills which makes you capable of landing uh, as a fresher data scientist and uh, starting package of a fresher data scientist is around 7 lakhs to 10 lakhs okay and uh, if you commit for 90 days about learning these things you can land as a data scientist and let me tell you now how you can do that please stick this to this video till last and i'm going to tell you very important thing and you won't be going out of here without learning anything with like without you won't be going out of here bare hands okay to main ye sabhi cheeze 90 dino mein that means 90 days in 3 months depending upon your speed i teach this thing in these three chunks only in my institute that is kai institute of ai k a i institute of ai it is an online class online class at 9:30 pm daily ist all right we start from very basics of ai ml cover the calculus no matter of from what background you are then we cover python we cover linear regression we cover multivale and all the things that i have discussed we cover it very very easily and all of our students learn it no matter from what background they are whether they have studied mathematics or not whatsoever all right but still if you want to take some demo sessions if you want to hop into my webinar that uh, that i do regularly you can go to the website kai institute of ai k a i institute of ai dot com slash register visit here the link will be available in the in the description also just fill up the form and you will be invited to my latest webinar in that webinar i will let you know how how i will teach you things without having any prerequisite knowledge and if you feel comfortable you can join the journey with me so decision is yours it is a free webinar no charge at all it is free of cost you can join it you have nothing to lose just join it hop into the webinar learn the things and you 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 can just go it's your decision if you want to join the journey with me or not you have nothing to lose thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the website kindofai.com/register link is available in the description please fill the form if you want to go along on a journey of learning the data science with me and let me also tell you in the end that on every algorithm we do around 3 to 4 projects 3 to 4 coding assignments or python programming assignments in in which i will teach you how to code all these algorithms from scratch without having any help of any module such as scikit learn or any you know any pre written code we code everything from scratch and i will teach you that i bet you i'll teach you that all right so uh 3 to 4 assignments per algorithm that means let's say we have around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen. Let's say we have twenty-two algorithms. So let's take twenty algorithms. So twenty into three makes it sixty assignments. Sixty assignments or sixty projects to talk about in interviews. That reflects your uh, confidence about whatever you have learned. All right. So don't wait. Don't wait for it. Just check out the link. Hop into my webinar. I'll let you know how to learn these things from scratch. without having 
any prerequisite knowledge thank you so much for watching please subscribe please like the video if you liked it and please dislike it if you didn't like it and let me know your feelings in the comments thank you so much for watching good luck goodbye